It is April 28th. Let's start with the presidential primaries in New York have been canceled. The New York State Board of Elections decided to cancel it after pushing it back to June. Bernie has dropped out of the race, so Biden will be the Democratic candidate and people are afraid that Trump will be using this as an excuse to postpone the November election and further prolong his presidency. I feel like we've suffered enough. Okay, I've pulled over because I've just been informed after filming my Rona Roundup that Gigi Hadid might be pregnant. So I'm adding this in right now. Okay, continuing with Corona news. Moving on to Cuomo's live briefing today, he said that 335 people died yesterday, so we're still watching this. Nobody will let go of this May 15th unpause, so he unpacked a little bit more about what we will be looking for in terms of being able to unpause. Criteria will include a 14-day decline in hospitalizations, and then after opening up construction and manufacturing in what would be phase one, uh, they'll identify a next set of businesses that will be safe and important to open. Um, they'll need to have safety precautions in place in terms of social distancing, testing of their employees, proper protective gear. Um, also, the healthcare system must be under 70% capacity and have proper protective gear for all of their employees. We'll need a solid testing regimen in place for the public and a tracing system, which I'll talk about. Also, he's mentioned isolation facilities, so if you get infected, you don't have to go home and further, further the spread by infecting your family. Okay, contact tracing explained. Everyone's been asking about this. Basically, every reopening plan has been talking about contact tracing technology. It's totally weird in terms of privacy concerns, but so is getting felt up by TSA at the airport, and we do that. So, welcome to the future. Governments are working on their own apps while Google and Apple teamed up to make their app. Um, let's, okay, I'm gonna run this down for you. Imagine you're at the grocery store, you encounter 10 people, right? The app traces that. So if you or either of those 10 people come down with COVID-19, you will all be alerted and will self-quarantine after that to stop the spread. Um, now you cannot be forced to download this app. However, the more people who participate in the app, the more effective it is. I know half the boomers don't know how to download apps, so go help your parents with that. All right, I was asked to mention how Cuomo has announced the state must cut $10 billion in spending, uh, which will be affecting budgets of a lot of things like schools, municipalities, healthcare systems. Um, the healthcare part is kind of counterproductive, but look, I don't make the rules. The money has to come from somewhere. Everyone's on unemployment right now. Moving on to Georgia, dine-in services opened in Georgia. Uh, basically a dress rehearsal for the rest of the country. They've had spread out tables, limited seating, sanitizer, masks, and they're screening their employees for symptoms. So unnecessary, but here we go. Um, moving on to North Carolina, a leader of the anti-lockdown protest <laughs> to liberate North Carolina, attested positive for COVID-19. She's been asymptomatic and really aggressive. She does not want to self-quarantine. Um, she said that this violates her First Amendment right to freedom of religion. I'm not sure what part of this is super religious, but some states are really giving Florida a run for their money right now. That is all. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day.